Peter, welcome back to Essex. Four for 82 out there in your first appearance, back very commendable figures uh, on that track. Just your reflections of the opening day. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Well, not a bad day. It was nice to get a few wickets and play a part, but I think, you know, if we're going to be tough on ourselves and we want to be, you know, at, uh, at the top at, uh, at the back end of the season, that, you know, we have to put in um, better performances than that. And I think um, we probably salvaged a little bit at the back end, getting a few late wickets. Um, but all in all, probably, yeah, probably not our best day uh, with the ball, but, um, yeah, there are a lot of good signs. Yeah, first session. We've gone off at lunch quite satisfied with that, I guess, three third but over 82, I think, so three wickets down. Certainly the last half hour we came back into the game, didn't we? It was just those bits between, although things could have been different if that catch had stayed to hand immediately <laughs> after lunch. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, yeah, we probably let ourselves down with a few drop catches, but I think, you know, even from a bowler's point of view, we probably weren't switched right on. We weren't hitting our spots, our right lengths um, enough, I think, yeah. There was uh, too many loose balls throughout the day, which probably, you know, cost us and yeah, probably left the score in the position that it is at the end of the day. After the game against Hampshire, the boys were commentating, uh, commenting on the state of the ball, the new sort of type of balls. Any reflections as far as you're concerned? Reduced the team. Uh, uh, the boys were saying it was going a bit soft, a bit early. Yeah, maybe a bit soft was probably the only thing that really changed up. I think today the, the, there was always enough seam, enough swing throughout the day to. You know, build a bit of pressure and, 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 and feel comfortable as a bowler. So I didn't even know there was a change until, yeah, until a couple of days ago. But, um, yeah, I think, yeah, this obviously that's my first bowl with it. Um, all in all, it's probably pretty similar. Um, yeah, maybe just slightly soft, like you said. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's too much of a difference um, than the old ball. Lesson for every ball bowler, I think you got your rewards through persistence, didn't you? Kept that line and length, just kept the batsmen on their toes, keep them guessing. Um, although they played well, particularly that afternoon session. Uh, but it's just, as I say, showed the value of that consistent line and length, and you get your merits in the end, don't you? Yeah, I think you know. I still, yeah, I was just probably still a little bit inconsistent for personally for my standards, but um, I think it did show that you know the times where we bowled really well, we built up the pressure, and we got the wickets was when we were able to do that from both ends, and I think. Um, you know, I know it is early in the season, but you need you need to hit that as um, as, as quick as you can. And I think, yeah, we're a little bit off today, um, but like I said, to you know, get a couple, a few late wickets, put the pressure back on them a little bit, um, and I think it comes down to us tomorrow morning, that first hour, starting well, um, getting the wickets as quick as we can. If not, restricting the runs um, to as little as possible, so then we, you know, we can get out there and, and, and go to work with the stick. Since we last saw you, you've had an incredible uh, few months, haven't you? Back in the Aussie international lineups, helping uh, Victoria to their Sheffield Shield title, fourth time in five years. Um, how's the body? Are you good? Uh, yeah, you keep being fit. That's the that's main thing. That's not too bad. Us. Yeah, I'm, I'm still fit. I'm on the park, so that's the, that's the biggest positive. But I think all in all, um, yeah, it's been an amazing summer. I think you know to yeah to finish up here last season and get back in the Australian team and. On, uh, on the tour over the UAE and then the, the Australian summer, I think, um, personally, yeah, it was, it was amazing. So uh, I would have liked to have played a bit more cricket for Australia in the, in the Aussie summer, but um, yeah, it was good to be around the group. And yeah, Victoria, once again, well, I always love playing with Victoria and I think, you know, it's a class side. So yeah, to, to finish off with a, you know, a finals win before I uh, jet set it over here uh, was a nice, a nice little send off for me. Yeah, well, congratulations on that. And I guess taking wickets for Essex is only going to help uh, you use the phrase, nudge the Aussie selectors with the Aussie series coming up, isn't it? Yeah, that's the plan, I think, you know, that's what I keep saying is at the end of the day, they picked me to go to the UAE in a dry, flat wickets um, from my performances for um, Essex last summer. So I think, you know, if I keep performing here, stay fit, keep bowling well and, and keep taking wickets, that, um, and that's all I can do at the end of the day. If I don't get picked, I don't get picked, but um, as long as I can keep the pressure on them and keep them under the pump, that, um, yeah, fingers crossed I'll be on that tour. Wish you well in that. Wish you well for us. Thanks for talking to us and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. Cheers guys. Cheers. Thank you.